This is question 17 and it's a word problem involving fractions and percentages. So it says that a shop is selling a TV at a normal price of £500. And it's got a sale. So on Monday, the price is reduced by one tenth. And then on Tuesday, the sale price is further reduced by another 20%. So Chris wants to buy the TV and he's got £400 to spend. And we've got to decide whether or not he's got enough money to buy the TV on the Tuesday. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is work out what the price will be on the Monday. And to do that, we've got to find out what one tenth of 500 is. And that's quite easy because if we're finding one tenth of a number, all we need to do is move the decimal point back by one place. So we can see at the moment the decimal point is after the zero there. If we move it back one place, then it's going to go after the first zero. So that means that one tenth is actually just 50 pounds. And then we're going to take it away from the original 500. So that would mean that the sale price on Monday would be equal to 500 minus the 50, which is 450. Now we're going to find the sale price on the Tuesday. And for that, we've got to find out what 20% is. So we need to reduce the current price by 20%. But to find that, first of all, we're going to find out what is 10% of the 450. And again, very similar to finding one tenth, all we need to do is move the decimal point back by one place. And we can see that that would give me £45. So 10% of 450 is £45. And then if we want to find out what 20% is, all we need to do, because 2 times 10 is equal to 20, all we need to do is multiply the 45 by 2. And if we do that, we'll get 90. So we can see that 20% of 450 is equal to 90. And now the sale price on the Tuesday is going to equal the 450 minus 90. And that's going to give us 360. So that's the sale price on the Tuesday. And we've got to decide, does Chris have enough money to buy it? Well, if he's got £400 then that's more than 360. So we need to say, yes, Chris has enough money. And that's it. That's all we need to do to get all the marks on the question. So I hope that's been helpful to you. And if it has, please consider subscribing to our channel and also giving the video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.